Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you a highly, highly requested video of how to use Vu Manchu B with Easyago profitably and the settings that I use on Vu Manchu Cypher B. Now, the settings don't really matter because it's not like you can customize it uh, to a certain sensitivity like you can with Easyago. Um, so no matter what you do, you don't even have to touch it. Um, but it, the signals will be the same, right? The buy dots are going to be the same. The divergences will be the same. But I did customize it a little bit uh, to make it more clean and easier to follow. So that's what I'm going to be bringing you guys today. So let's jump right into it. If you don't have Vu Manchu Cypher B, what you're going to do is come up here to Indicators, um, go to Community Scripts, there it is, and then type in Vu Manchu Cypher B plus divergences and they also have uh, a cipher a which I don't use and the swing free which isn't that accurate so I wouldn't use that either um, so just stick with the Vu Manchu cipher B and then use easy algos buy sell signals and support and resistance levels as confirmation uh, so once you have Vu Manchu cipher B loaded in I'm just gonna show you guys my settings real quick because um, I got a lot of comments about that So here's what I have okay I have the wave trend buy dots gold sell divergence fast these uh, are are the standard input so I, you don't have to change anything here um i got rid of hidden divergences uh, i guess you could leave that on um you know you could leave that on let's leave that on hidden divergences i don't really use hidden divergences but uh better to have on than off right uh so this this is just a normal inputs I do have the money flow index on. I do not have any of the RSI's. I don't use RSI. It's not useful in my opinion. Uh, lagging indicator a little bit. Some divergences can be good. I just don't use it. I use the VWAP and then the momentum divergences. That's all you really need. Uh, so I don't have any of this on. Stochastic RSI I do have on. Use average, turn that off. Standard inputs, got rid of the stock stuff. Uh, so all of this is just not touched, right? I, I turn those off. Next, we're going to go to the style, okay? Background color, plot, got rid of the money flow index top and bottom bars because it's unnecessary. I uh, have the wave one as green. I'm pretty sure it's just standard, right? Uh, keep going down, standard. VWAP I have as a line. Um, crucial, I have this as a line, okay? Because I'm pretty sure normally it's an area, right? We don't want an area. We just want a line. Um, then I change the colors on this to the the colors of my algo so you can kind of copy the colors from that um, So I made the the first money flow uh, the light blue color of my algo And then of course the next one being that reddish color so you can just copy that from the color settings in easy algo Same thing with the bullish divergence made it that same color same thing with the bearish uh, Change the colors there obviously RSI is off. We don't need any of that um, Buy and sell circles you do want on again color one is the buy circle which i made it the blue and then color zero is the sell circle which i made red so definitely have those on keep the di divergence buy and sell circles on i got rid of the gold buy gold circle i don't i don't even know what that is so there's a lot of like confusing stuff in here that you don't need right so you don't have to have any of that all you really want um money flow index i change the color all you really want in this are the momentum waves, the VWAP as a line, and then uh, divergences in the buy sell dots. That's about it. And then money flow if you want as well. Um, so here's how I use Vu Manchu Cypher B and how anyone can use it. So obviously these blue dots, when you load it in, it'll be green, but since we just customized it, they're blue. Uh, those are the buy dots, okay? So as you can see, every time we get a blue dot, price will come up a little bit. So, you know, we got a blue dot right here. Price came up a little bit. Blue dot price came up a little bit. Blue dot price came up a little bit. Um, but we don't just want to use blue dots, okay? Because if we got this one right here, you know, price did not go up, right? And the VWAP did not cross the zero line. So what I'm looking for is a divergence, which as you can see right here, this is a hidden divergence, um, which I, I don't really use hidden divergences, right? Um, so what you know what we're actually gonna turn that off because <laughs> I don't use hidden divergences and I, I don't I don't think they're that useful so yeah because that would have been a, a bad signal so we're just gonna have the regular divergences on and what you're waiting for is a divergence like this right we're gonna use easy algo support and resistance levels as well as easy algos buy sell signals um, to confirm our trade uh, and enter either a long or a short so as you can see we have a bearish divergence and a sell signal right so that's how we kind of use it in confirmation and those are my settings so it's really not that difficult um, I'm on the five minute time frame see if you were to just buy every time there's a blue dot um, you're not gonna be profitable right even after 
uh, the VWAP crosses the zero line, you know, it crosses the zero line a little bit, right? Crosses the zero line, price goes up. So that's another good indicator, but it's not always accurate. See, it crosses right then again um, with a divergence, but we didn't get a buy signal, so we're not gonna take that trade. So definitely use it in, in confluence. I wouldn't recommend using this indicator on its own, I'd recommend having at least at the very minimum, the support and resistance levels on your chart using easy algo and then the buy sell signals as confirmation, right? So another divergence right here. Um, we didn't get a buy signal till we're all the way at, almost at another red, red sell dot, so we're not gonna take that. Let's go to the 15 minute, cause this is a little bit, a little bit choppy, right? So that looks a lot better. So when you have these support and resistance levels identified for yourself, you can kind of make an educated guess uh, on where the price is going to go and price respects these levels um, a ton, as you can see. And, you know, using these divergences in confluence and these momentum waves is really all you need, um, as well as the VWAP crossing the zero line. You never want to enter along if the VWAP, you know, is right here and it hasn't crossed that zero line yet. So as soon as the VWAP crosses the zero line, we get that buy, we get that divergence. That's how we make um, th those big trades, right? You know, this was a this was a great sell. Uh, I think even on the five minute time frame, if we can go back there, right? Uh, th this was a great sell because we had a divergence right at resistance right around here. Um, and so I entered my short, you know, I think maybe a around here, maybe at this sell uh, on, on one of these, right? And um, you can see, you know, bearish divergence, right? Sell signal, bam, price drops, you know, red dot, boom, VWAP crossing below zero, boom, drops blue buy dot right right at support buy signal price goes up boom so that's gonna so that's kind of how you use it um in confluence with easy algo because you don't just want to rely uh, on voom and cypher b but those are my settings um this has been a highly requested video uh main main takeaways are have your levels identified use easy algo's buy sell signals as confirmation and then uh, divergences as extra confirmation and this works super well on a higher time frame um such as the one hour right if we look at the one hour uh and the, and the divergence is there you know we get a divergence look at sell bam price drops you know we got a buy signal here right on easy algo but where's the vwap hasn't crossed the zero line right so we're not going to take that buy signal hasn't even crossed the zero line and that's going right into a resistance and on the one hour two sensitivity has been working working well so we wouldn't even get a buy signal we're just in this this main sell signal and i was talking about it in my previous video i was looking for a buy signal around here on the one hour but we just rejected this level hard right so we we, we came below it and we tried to to break back above and we just bam rejected um red dot look at red dot on the one hour view up going under right at that resistance price drops so that's how you can kind of use it uh, on a higher time frame, which is which is very accurate. You know, as you can see, divergence here, VWAP crosses zero. That would have been a great time to enter along. If you want to wait for easy algo's buy signal, um, you can do that as well. Um, so that's kind of how I use Fu Manchu Cypher B. I got a lot of questions on this. Hope this cleared some things up. Please leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Um, subscribe to the channel for more trading content uh, and indicators and strategies and such like that. Um, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next video.